Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and another mercenary video. Now, today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be our first PvP comp that we've made, which actually is getting us up the rating ladder. Um, now, the harsh reality of mercenaries at the moment is that everybody is missing mercenaries. So you not everybody can build the teams they want to build. So people have to sub out a lot of the, the legendary stuff for other things and this build does the that exact thing as well so this is a take on the the btx comp that i did a video on not too long ago but we switched it up because we don't have thrall and not everything is maxed as well pvp the matchmaking is actually pretty decent it makes you go up against people that are your level regardless of max so don't be afraid to go and join the pvp fight because they level up your mercs so much faster and you know it's something different to try so right let's get into this comp so we have zarella part of the uh, bxu so the bxu first stands for blade master samurai zarella and uther so let's start with zarella so zarella obviously is just really good with samurai because of the blind illuminance and we have the radiant wand for completing task two uh not maxed so it's still a very good comp in pvp and it's not even maxed so bear that in mind uh, Samuro, obviously with the Zyrella combo, you've got the double strike straight after with the Burning Blades, which also isn't maxed again. Um, and that is taking out Mercs left, right and center still. So that combo alone is still good. Uh, the reason we have the other letter in the title, and it's U for Uther, is because his blessing of protection is insane to keep the other two alive. So Zyrella and Samuro, keeping them alive is key for this combo. Um, and having him, he actually has no equipment yet. We don't have a, we don't have that just yet. So even with no equipment, it's a really good comp. So blessing of protection is obviously going to keep those two alive. Try and sacrifice Ufa thirst, and then once he goes down, if he goes down, um, then you've got Carol Rome to come in off the bench, and then her taunt ability as well is going to keep Sam and Cyrella alive even further. And you're just going to one shot characters every single turn. Um, we're just running the Tomb of Judgment on her because that's the the only equipment we have at the moment. Um, the other two slots, I've just filled up to level up characters. So I've got Gruul and Khan in there just to level them up because you get so much more XP in PvP just like regular Hearthstone. Um, I hope you enjoy this comp. I hope you guys have majority of these. Uh, at least the top three are all free. So try and max those guys out because that comp works really well in PvP at the moment. Um, I hope you enjoy the video, and here it is. Okay, so he's got three casters, two fighters, and uh, two protectors on the fighter. So if he's running casters, I don't really want to run my red. Maybe he gets his protectors down. Yeah, nice. So he is going to. He's got one cooldown, two cooldowns. So he's going to fireball for 12. She's going to probably gain taunt, perhaps. So I should probably just target her anyway. Or he's going to. He can't gain taunt. He's only going to gain five attack and attack a fighter. So we should just kill her off. Don't him to attack a fighter, so I'll taunt up Uther. Hopefully this kills him. Is this going to kill it? Probably isn't, isn't it? We should probably just target the... Uh... This is three speed. That was one speed. Now we have to play smart. We got to feel like that he's going to taunt up. Okay. Let's take out the caster now and then avenge him wrath, hopefully clears the board. Job done. So is he in taunt? We're still fought in health to adjacent. Should 
hopefully hit it maybe. So we're going to hit it twice though, 8 for 16. It might be okay. 14 is only got to hit it once. This kills that 100%. He heals himself as well and goes taunt. Fine. Just chips it. Nice. Job done. Keep that. Ready. Okay, here come the casters. Right, so we want to get through the casters. This has taunt still, though. So we can't just yet. Taunt up us so he can't kill Sam. Eight damage to all. I'll keep it. Okay, here's his Sam. So he's probably going to, well, he has to double strike first. So he's going to try and take out a blue at four speed. So I can try and single it out. Or we can sacrifice Uther. Sacrifice Uther. This is going to do some damage as well. So what's this going to go to? He's probably got an ability on. Tina might get a torn out. It's not going to freeze any for him. Okay, so we're going for Bulgin. I mean, we don't even need the double attack, actually. We could have, like... We could have stopped Sam doing any damage. This is just dealing so much. It's going to kill the caster off straight away. So we just go there. There. Don't need to avenge, we just taunt Uthrop just to sacrifice him. Let's get these two get the kills. Well, he's not even gonna take any damage actually, so it's fine. Yeah, this build's nuts. No. Just taunt him up. Just in case he wins the 50-50, which he's not gonna zero anyway. Probably doesn't even attack. Three casters, one protector, two fighters. He's probably going to summon his casters down. So we definitely want to play these. It depends what we want to play as well. I think the Uther worked well with taunting so the caster couldn't kill. So, well, so the protectors on the last one couldn't kill Sam. So maybe we just go Uther again. Triple red left on the bench to take out his fighters, maybe. Okay, he's playing two fighters. So Tavish is coming in with deal 10 damage if this Merc's not been damaged. So he's going to get damaged. Living Brambles plus three more damage. So it's attacking enemy, death blow, give all Mercs on the battlefield and bench 310. Okay, so we could probably do that straight away. Nature combo, deal 10 more. First one's not nature. This is not nature, so he's not going to be doing that. And that's coming in with a double strike at four. So I want to hit this, really. Or do we just take out his caster? I think we just take out the caster straight away. Taunt Uther, sacrifice him, it's fine. Well, I did 32 to her. Play Zorilla on her Uther as well. So we could probably take Uther out. We avenge, maybe it survives. Interesting ad break. Should it still playing in the bottom corner? Oh, we're 
That's cool. <laughs> I like that. Going into target Zorilla, but he's just going to deal damage again. It's going to do like 32, and then this is going to attack. Maybe we taunt. Taunt heal. Maybe we don't die. Oh, he's going for the bear. Okay, we're not hitting it anyway, so it's fine. And he goes for a mirror. Try and cushion some damage, that's fine. Keep this up. Okay, what's Kurt's doing? Eye beam restored that much health or attack an enemy if his demon deals six. So he's probably going for an eye beam. Sam's definitely going in for an attack. Tavish, I'm just probably going to leave to the end. So let's take out Sam. And we'll taunt up again. We'll just keep him as the uh, the guard. Okay, taunt two. Play it now before. Well, actually, his cast is coming down now, isn't it? So. And doing diamond. Wow. Deal 10 damage to all enemies, which is going to be 20 to her. So, penance deal 12 and restore. So, it's going to deal 24 to her. I think we take Anduin out. This will be after, so it's fine if the bear pops out after. Kind of in the way now, though, to be fair. That's really in the way. Not going to take damage this turn, but it is still going to be 36. Taunt her up again. I mean, if that bear hit first, which it was never going to, would have been pretty sweet. Okay. These are just here to level. It was the main three that were uh, the comp. That dies off that. This dies off that as well, to be fair. Attack an enemy. They haven't got a dragon, so that's a shame. Could get a 14 14 out. Or just attack. Could 14 14 is fine, actually. Here we go. Easy. 